Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 12 things you are sure to find in my fridge. Now, these things are food ingredients that I eat or I use in cooking on a daily basis. And I thought to share with you guys to give you an idea of what my eating experience looks like on a daily basis. And I'm super excited to share, share them with you and maybe some of them might get inspired to start eating the things that I eat on a daily basis. All right, let's jump right into the video, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a video. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share with your family and friends so they too can be involved and join in the flow and be a part of the family. Okay, all right guys, now let's get right into um, this episode. <laughs> So the very first item that you definitely would find in my fridge once you open it up is a category of things actually are vegetables you would always most certainly find vegetables in my fridge now if you followed me on this channel for a while you know that I cook with lots of vegetables in fact there is a rule I live by I cook every and anything with vegetables whether it needs or requires vegetables or not vegetables must be added and if you follow me on instagram as well you should know this as well and i always and that's the reason i always stock up on lots of vegetables now the vegetables the common vegetables that you would find in my fridge are bell peppers i have celery in my fridge cabbage you'd always find carrots you would always find fresh corn i have peppers tomatoes that are even though they say tomatoes are fruits or whatever you find cucumbers in my fridge the whole nine years like I really love my vegetables and I always like to have a bunch of them I also have broccoli I also have cauliflower in my fridge as well so vegetables are the one thing that you are definitely going to find in my fridge if you come to my house and you check my fridge and you don't see vegetables in there then that's not my fridge ask for my fridge okay <laughs> The second thing that you definitely would find in my fridge is also a category of things and you should already know what they are. They're fruits. Now, I'm also a lover of fruits. I'm definitely a lover of vegetables and fruit because I believe that these things contain nutrients that our bodies need to survive on a daily basis. Not just survive, thrive on a daily basis and that's why I always have them handy in my fridge. So the favorite fruits that I like to stock up on are apples, I love English pear, I love avocados, you can you find grapes in my fridge, you find strawberries, you find blueberries, you find clementines also known as tangerines, you would also find bananas in my fridge, these are my absolute favorite ones. You definitely would find some oranges in my fridge as well. So I love to stock up on my fruit and my veggies and then what I do is every weekend I go grocery shopping and I buy all of the all the things I need for a particular week and that's when I suck up on my fruits and my veggies for the week and for my fruits I just like to make them I use them in a whole lot of stuff for my breakfast I make I put them in my smoothie I eat them as is sometimes I make them into a fruit salad when I want to have a combination of a lot of fruits at the same time there's so many things it's quite versatile sometimes I make a fruit platter when I have guests come around I serve them a fruit platter I instead of making a, a cooked meal there's so many things you can do with the fruits and that's why I always have fruits very handy you have helped me and they saved me a lot of times a lot of times especially when I have cravings at night if you've not watched that video on the 10, 10 healthy foods that you should eat when you have cravings you should definitely watch it I'm going to put a link to that video in the description box so that you can um, find out those healthy foods that you can eat when you have cravings okay so the third item that you're sure to find in my fridge is also a category of things and I categorize this as dairy and non-dairy essentials so for the dairy essentials I am I'm not a big fan of dairy products but the only dairy products that you definitely will find in my fridge is yogurt I love a lot of Greek yogurt and I take it I use it in a lot of things I use it for my breakfast, for my smoothie. I enjoy, I enjoy it as is. Sometimes I mix fruits and nuts in it. I use it for my parfait. I use it for my overnight oats. And then um, for the non-dairy essentials, because that's where I, I, that's what I absolutely love. 
um, I use um, you can you definitely find almond milk in my fridge you find some soy milk in my fridge those are like the my two favorite milks I also love coconut milks as well and I make some I sometimes make my coconut milk from scratch I like to take fresh coconut milk and sometimes fresh soy milk but it's quite stressful to make these things so yeah the um, I don't like dairy because dairy does wonders annoying wonders to my body it makes me bloat a lot it gives me gas and it makes my fat smell like shit and I don't like it so I, I, I think I think maybe I'm just lactose intolerant because I don't like what milk does to my body sometimes I have you can you would find cheese in my fridge you can find mozzarella cheese in my fridge or parmesan cheese in my fridge because I love to make pizza especially this on this cup upon discovering that I can make pizza with tortilla wraps so I love to make pizza especially for my friends and my family and then Parmesan cheese when I'm making a big bowl of a, a casserole dish I love the taste and I also love the taste of, of Parmesan cheese in my salad as well So cheese and and the yogurt are the only dairy products you probably will find in my fridge The other ones are the non-dairy like the almond milk, soy milk and whatnot Those I would always have in my fridge anytime you visit me So the fat food item you would always find in my fridge are eggs Eggs are my major source of protein. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that every day I lose my love for animal protein. That's the meat, to be honest with you. And so whenever I want to get some a rich source of protein, I usually would turn to eggs. I use eggs for different things, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, I can make an omelette, scrambled eggs, I can um, add it to my toast bread um, sometimes I just make a bowl of rice and just use eggs as my protein of choice sometimes I put it in my salad there's so many ways you can use eggs and of course you, I use eggs when I'm baking a muffin I can make egg muffins I use it to bake my cakes and everyone should definitely have a crate of eggs in their fridge it's an essential that you cannot do without and if you don't like eggs why So the fifth food item that you definitely would find in my fridge is chicken breasts. So what I like to do every day, I know I said I don't, I'm falling, I'm falling out of love with animal protein, that's meat, but chicken breast is one thing that I actually still love because it's very versatile, it's lean meat, very low in calories, and it's not the sweetest part of a chicken, but it's the easiest to handle and cook with. So what I do is I marinate about eight to 10 pieces of chicken breast and that's really enough for me for the week. And then I grill them in the oven and then afterwards I let them rest and then um, store them in Tupperwares in my refrigerator. And then whenever I want to have something that uses chicken breast, I just take it out and I put it in my, uh, in, a, in my bowl of rice, in my bowl of salad, whatever it is, it actually comes in very handy. And it's a kitchen hack that has worked for me for so long. And you can also use this hack for other animal proteins like your goat meat, your other kinds of meat. Just cook a large quantity of it and save them in Tupperwares in individual portions. And then whenever you want to cook a meal, just bring it out. You already have your, your meat cooked and ready to go. Because um, cooking your meat from scratch every time you want to make a meal is one of the reasons why it takes you forever to cook in the kitchen. So when you pre pre cook your meat and just put them in the freezer and bring them out whenever you want to use it, you find that it cuts down your cooking time drastically. And so that's one thing I use um, whenever I'm making chicken breast. And that's why you would always find cooked chicken breast in my fridge. The next item you would find in my fridge are mushrooms. So I have this thing that I call meatless days. There are days in the week where I don't eat any form of meat or any form of animal protein at all. And that's when I tend to mushrooms as um, um, a, um, a meaty like, like it just, it just substitutes meat in anything I eat. I use mushrooms to cook um, pasta, rice, so many things. If you follow me on IG, you should already know that I love and I use mushrooms a lot. And then there's this bomb ass mushroom sauce that I made. Like it's so tasty and so amazing. Even those people in around me who hate or don't eat mushrooms, when they ate that sauce, they they they, they felt see they're laughing behind the scenes. <laughs> they fell absolutely in love with mushrooms again. The sauce, the video is on my YouTube channel. I think I, I think I uploaded it about two, four weeks ago. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out just in case you need a mushroom sauce. 
So mushrooms are definitely something that you would find in my fridge because I observe meatless days every week, which is something I think you should incorporate into your lifestyle as well. The next item you definitely would find in my fridge are tortilla wraps. You guys, I love tortilla wraps because they're very, very versatile. They're very handy, speedy and quick to make whatever it is you're making with tortilla wraps. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've come up with loads and loads of tortilla wraps recipes, even on this channel as well. I've come up with loads of easy to make tortilla wraps re recipe. I love them because they come in very handy for those mornings when you just want to grab something and go or you don't have enough, enough time to make a meal uh, or to cook something really nice for yourself. You just bring out a tortilla wrap, put an egg on it and boom, you have a quesadilla. There's so many ways you can enjoy a tortilla wrap and that's why I always have it handy. And I always have two sizes of tortilla wraps. I have a bigger size and a smaller size. The bigger sizes I like to use for things like my pizza or whenever I'm making something in the oven. The smaller sizes I use when I'm about making something in the frying pan because that's what fits my frying pan a lot better. So tortilla wraps are like my absolute favorite um, food ingredient that you definitely will find in my fridge. And the ones I have are vegan friendly. So just in case you're looking for a plant-based option, you can touch, you can get this. I got these at um, if you live in Nigeria, I usually get mine from Shoprite. Shoprite always has the cheer ups. Okay, yeah. So that's the that's the sixth. Is it sixth item? Seventh? Well, that's the next item. <laughs> so the eighth food item that you definitely would find in my fridge, I have categorized this under a group as well, and I call them my cooking ingredients. Now, under this category, I have my things like my green chili pepper sauce, I have my garlic paste and my all-purpose seasonings. I have all the videos on my channel on how I made these things. Now, these are um, food items that I use in making any and everything that I make and they make the cooking process a whole lot easier and faster. So, um, it's, it's something that you definitely would find in my fridge because it comes in super handy. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below on how I make my green chili pepper sauce. That pepper sauce is the bomb.com, as well as the um, garlic paste. Garlic paste, if you're a lover of garlic, you definitely should always have garlic paste in your fridge. It literally comes in very handy as well. And then my all-purpose spice that I use, my all-purpose seasoning that I use in making any and everything, I actually, um, this is an idea that I invented to put all those spices in one jar instead of having to open so many spice jars every time I have to cook. That's very time consuming. So blending it up together as one spice and using it to cook literally would um, cut down your cooking time drastically as well. So you can check out the, vid the links in the description box down below on how I made all of these things. I tell you, they really will come in very handy for you as well. So yeah, those are the things that you definitely will find in my fridge, my cooking staples, like I like to call them. The ninth thing that you definitely would find in my fridge are tiger nuts. Now, the video we uploaded last week, I talked about um, healthy foods that you can use to stop your cravings and tiger nuts was one of them. L guys, like I'm a lover of tiger nuts. I hear is they say that tiger nuts is a really good aphrodisiac. I don't know about that. I just enjoy it because of its fiber content and because it's sweet and extremely low in calories and has lots of other nutrients as well. It literally helps me satisfy my crave. And every time you come, like if you're literally around me and you are around me at, at the hours of 7 p.m. to about 10 p.m. and you ever see me eating something, just know that it's tiger nuts that I'm eating because it, it's, it's a lifesaver for me. Since I discovered it, I have never let it go. So you would definitely, definitely always find tiger nuts in my fridge, unless there's no tiger nuts in Lagos State. If there's tiger nuts in Lagos State, I will go find it anywhere it is and I'm going to buy it and it will be in my fridge. So yeah, tiger nuts. So the next item you'll find in my fridge are nut butters and then chocolate spreads. Now, um, because I do not like a lot of peanuts, um, because I don't eat peanuts, it makes me break out a lot. I have nut butters like almond nuts and I have um, um, cashew nut butters as well. But I also have peanut butters because I mean, I don't leave all by myself. I have people who stay with me and they enjoy, some of them enjoy peanut butters. And I also have my Nutella hazelnut chocolate spread as well. That I like once in a while, whenever I want to have some comfort food time, I just go for my Nutella spread and you would definitely always find Nutella spread in my fridge. 
the 11th thing that you would find in my fridge are condiments now condiments like my soy sauces my oyster sauce my blended sesame oil you will find sauces like my pizza sauce in my fridge you find um um you find my olives you find um ketchup mayo just name it i have lots of condiments and you definitely would find these condiments in my fridge because they come in very handy especially my dark and light soy sauce my oyster sauce and then the blended sesame oil as well i use those ones a lot whenever i'm making a meal so you would find condiments in my fridge and then the last item that you would definitely find in my fridge anytime you open it is my granola so granolas i think of uh, is a very easy and convenient breakfast type thing um, you can make, use it, eat it as a cereal, you can put it in a pat bay, you can put it in a smoothie. I use it a lot and it's very easy to just whip up a, an easy granola cereal. Just put the granola in a plate, put some milk or just and then sweeten it up with honey or sugar or whatever you like. Mix it up and enjoy a good breakfast for yourself and that's why granola is something you could definitely always find in my fridge. Now, with all of that being said, I'm not saying that you won't find any other thing in my fridge you would find, but these are the ones that you would always find once you open the fridge. My fridge is never empty. So these are the items that you would always find. Of course, I have other things as well, but those ones are like a lot more touch and go. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Anyways, um, again, I said I thought to share so that some someone might be inspired to start eating the things that I eat or enjoying the things that I enjoy. And then just to give you an idea of what my daily eating um, experience is like. I hope you found this video helpful. One day I might just film a, a fridge tour. <laughs> I think this is this can also double as a fridge tour. Okay, guys, so that's it. I really enjoyed um, sharing with you guys the 12 things that you would always find in my fridge. If you have any favorite um, fridge staples that you'd like to share with us, please kindly put it in the comment section down below so that we can continue this conversation. Let me know if there's something I should be adding to my fridge that I'm not, I'm not putting there yet. Okay, all right guys, I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering video. Now, it can be a cooking video, it can be a talking video, whichever one. I will definitely see you next time. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourselves generously, and it's me, the queen of fun and fast cooking, signing out right now. Take care, guys.